All right, well, I made it to the top of Bertha Peak in my local mountains. And uh, off to the left there, you can see uh, San Gregorio again, this time with no snow. It's all melted off. And uh, I actually signed up to go hike that again in a few days, so hopefully I get a video out of that. But um, yeah, as you can see, I'm up to the top here and uh, the solar observatory again. Um, you may have seen me in another video from that other peak over there. But uh, not today. I'll just sort of point it around. There's this big noisy generator or some sort of electrical thing. And then there's some cell phone towers over down just below me. So not super pleasant. It's a lot more peaceful at the other peak, uh, the Gray's Peak. This is really cool. You can see a plane that just took off. Just barely right. It should be right in the middle there. <laughs> Just a little dot on the screen, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I'm giving my uh, my gear a try, basically. I, I brought my pack up. So, uh, oh, and my hiking poles, which is, it's my first real uh, use of the hiking poles today. Um, and I like them. I think, yeah, they offload a lot of the weight. Um, and I could see how people get annoyed at the sound of them sort of clacking against the rocks after especially after hundreds of miles on like the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail, which incidentally I just crossed over to get here. <laughs> um, the Pacific Crest Trail goes off down below me somewhere down here somewhere. Uh, working up the strength of my back basically to, to be able to do long distance hiking. I'm not camping out today, just a day trip. So just wanted to check in and show where I am. I did bring a camera, I brought my telephoto lens, nothing else, and a tripod. Um, and I think the most interesting thing today, just by looking around, at least right now, is probably Greyback, or also known as uh, Mount San Gregorio. Um, today is particularly cool because of the clouds and the light sort of diffuse uh, unevenly over the mountain. That's a pretty cool effect. Uh, so I'm going to set up my tripod. Um, I'm going to take a little rest because I need a rest, uh, drink some more water and, and eat a bit, and then maybe wait a while till it's closer to sunset. Today is a rare day where I'm actually way early for sunset. Um, sunset will be in a few hours, I think. It's getting sooner, it's getting like sooner all the time now because we're leaving summer, going into autumn. And by the way, yeah, I could see you can see right in front of me here, actually, things starting to turn from green to yellow. And uh, <laughs> that's as close as we get to fall colors in California, really. Unless you've got a Japanese maple in your backyard. Um, yeah, we're going to see more of this, more of the landscape sort of turn to yellow. So I'm excited to see that. And it's a good excuse to go out with a camera and uh, do more hikes. Uh, fall is a beautiful time, so I'm going to be doing lots of hikes. Anyway, that's a sneak preview of things to come. Uh, Eastern Sierra trips, probably a few are scheduled. Just came back from there. Uh, you probably saw the solar eclipse video, but I drove pretty much straight through, just stopping for resting and eating. And uh, next time, hiking too. Now you can see we're kind of nearing sunset. Shadows are a bit different than the last video. More interesting, a lot of people would argue, especially photographers. Uh, a lot of folks prefer sunsets and sunrises because you get this nice side uh, light. Uh, for instance, like you can see the contours of the mountains. It's really beautiful. And uh, you can bring out a lot of the the colors, like the colors in the skies. So that, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm set up here. Right, there it is. And you can see I have the filter attachment, but I don't have the filter on. Uh, I took it off for the time being. I'm, I'm protecting it in its little case there. I'm really, yeah, and I got my little snack. I'm really protective of that because the polarizer especially is really expensive. But um, the polarizer really has an effect because as you can see, there's the sun about to set in less than an hour, I think. Uh, but since it's at this angle, it really has like the best effect, the most dramatic effect. I guess that is uh, 90 degrees from the sun. Uh, like I said in the last video, if it's 180 degrees, like over here, it's not gonna do anything, just because of the nature of how the polarizer works. But because it's at 90 degrees, and that's the subject I want, it's perfect actually. So this is a better spot than um, the other peak over there. Can you see it there? Which is Gray's Peak. 
I think it's that, it must be that one because it's the tallest. <laughs> but um, this is a better spot for sure for, for getting San Gregorio. So something I wouldn't have known without scouting it out. But it's not the most peaceful spot, as I pointed out before. It's a little noisy. I got all this industrial junk behind me. But that's what powers the city, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's power lines going down there. But uh, I'm trying to work in shots uh, away from it. Um, while I was waiting for this, the light to change, I was kind of playing with the composition too. Because I had the time to. Um, and I got tired of eating and just sitting around. And <laughs> uh, but I, I tried to go to uh, portrait mode. And I do have an L bracket that helps with that. But I was too lazy to put it on. All I did is I sort of put the tripod to the side momentarily. Uh, poured it in portrait mode. And then it sort of got this this sliver of the landscape and then a little bit of the city which it gave it good context which I thought was cool because otherwise you wouldn't know I don't know it, it helps sometimes to have that even though it's city it is context because uh, especially if you're trying to sell the photo I think people want to know where is this you know is this even taken from Big Bear where I visited <laughs> but you could obviously see well there's Big Bear so if you get that portrait that little sliver yeah, it was an interesting one, but it's not my favorite composition, so I think horizontal really works the best here. So that's what I've, I've uh, stuck with, and I didn't even bother getting out the L bracket. And now I think even as I've sat here and uh, talked to myself, I think the shadows have changed a bit more, but I'm still waiting for it. I think it's going to be a really, really dramatic sunset, because look at these clouds. And then these clouds over here. It's going to be gonna be something something too so I think it's worth waiting so I'm gonna wait a bit more uh, maybe bring out my Kindle read my book a bit but uh, the sunset is gonna be less than an hour so I gotta pay attention I'm looking over at the shadows every once in a while to make sure things didn't uh, change dramatically or there's not some some special effect <laughs> um, one last thing before I go for now uh, I did wait till the light changed till there's a little foreground. There's a peak here with a little I think cell phone tower or something on it But it's in the darkness now and I got a shot where uh, San Gregorio peak behind it was in the light sort of spotlighting it that that works for composition That's just natural lighting that's sort of dim Diminishing this area, which is you know man-made natural and I don't want to highlight that uh, Without any post-processing or retouching that's just waiting for the light to change and the light can really help with that composition uh, with just waiting for the natural spotlight to, to come down and, and focus where, exactly where you want it to. Uh, sometimes it doesn't completely work out, but I'm just going to play with what I, all the, with the cards I have been dealt, basically. Okay, well this worked out pretty well. As you can see, the sunset just behind me there, just after sunset. Um, and I got kind of three distinct, or actually four distinct views. I got the sunset over here. And I kind of zoomed in. This looks like Smoky Mountains or something. You can see the layers of mountains over there. And I like the little cloud up there. So I sort of zoomed in as much as I could there. Uh, and I also have this view, which is beautiful. I really like this. You see the lake and then um, just the colors in the sky. It's just really great. And then what I was looking for earlier in the day was uh, Mount San Gregorio, which had a little bit of the, the sunset glow on top of it. And uh, it's gone now, but I captured it, so I'm happy. Um, and I think I'm about set. I think I might take one more shot of the sunset here and then uh, head down with my headlamp, which I remember to pack this time. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty successful uh, trip, I think. And it's actually a shorter hike uh, compared to that other one over there, the Gray's Peak. So it's uh, surprisingly more accessible, but it is quite steep very steep so it's kind of hard with the pack but I need the practice <laughs> um, but yeah this was a successful run this was really good I think there's a few that I can print from this run so I'm pretty happy so um, yeah and it just in my own backyard so it's just appreciating my own local nature again which is it's pretty good to be honest but uh, yeah I really need to take advantage that it's here and that it's so accessible and I'm I'm so happy I did. So, yeah, one of the last sunsets of the summer uh, until we hit fall, and then everything starts changing colors even more dramatically than that. Well, maybe not in a different way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, until next time, see you later.